welcome back to this video session so this video session titled is uh, machine learning terminologies and life cycle so let us see what has been planned for this video session i mean after watching this video the audience would be able to describe machine learning life cycle in detail so this video would be introducing you the machine learning terminologies and then we'll be discussing what exactly is the process and what exactly is the steps involved in machine learning life cycle so let us start with our machine learning terminologies so when we are learning about machine learning it is very important to know what all are the basic terminologies involved in machine learning so let us look look at the terminologies one by one so the fundamental terminology which we always start with in any of the machine learning discussions or any of the machine learning architectures is we always very frequently talk about a word called as data sets so what exactly do we mean by data sets data sets in machine learning is nothing but a well organized uh, and structured or it could be in some cases an unstructured as well is a set of records or instances which we call as a data upon which my machine learning model would be actually be learning some insightful patterns to predict an outcome for a future event so when we talk about data sets in a layman words i can explain it as is nothing but a set of data or a data collections upon which my machine learning model would be learning on so further going on when we uh, go beyond the the concept of data set we usually very frequently encounter the terms called as features and labels so if data collection is termed as a data sets then the individual further description of data set is always in the form of features and labels so features and labels are nothing but we can visualize these terms as for example let us consider a small uh, excel data set wherein we have some rows and columns usually the columns are form what right now we are calling them as features and labels so we have an example in a next slide where we will be exactly saying an example of what exactly are the features and what exactly are the labels so in general each row in a data set is always formed from labels and features so going beyond we do have one more term called as model and in general we call them as machine learning model so what exactly does a machine learning model mean so here when i say model in machine learning it is nothing but in the computational entity and when i'm saying a computational entity it could be an algorithm or a step by step process or any a computational uh, paradigmic entity which describes a relation between features and labels so when we talk about features and labels it's nothing but labels are those columns in your data set whose value your ml model tries to predict given the feature values for that consecutive or concurrent rows so in short model is nothing but it's a computational entity which describes a relationship between a features and labels so given a few set of features we can easily predict what could be the possible outcome for a label so going ahead we have few more terms called as parameters and hyperparameters so uh, talking about parameters and hyperparameters those are still a uh, computational variables but an exact meaning of parameters and hyperparameters can be inferred by visiting back the definition of features and labels features and labels are the input data which which, which those are the actual part of data set but when your ml model is trying to form or find relationship between that it has to even rely on some additional variables and these variables are something which are not a part of data set but these are something which are computed during the process of training or during the process of machine learning the process of building machine learning model so parameters are those whose variables are learned from features and features when your ml uh, algorithms are in a process of trying to learn the relation between features and labels and hyperparameters are those parameters in this process of learning a model whose values by far remain constant so now since we are at the uh, very introductory slide i'm i'm avoiding taking an example but if i am required to take an example of a uh, hyperparameter there is an algorithm called as k means which does a clustering 
So in this, the K defines the number of clusters we want my algorithm to produce. Here, the value of K can be termed as hyperparameters. At the same time, in the same algorithm, when we talk about the centroid distance, radius, which is in internally computed based on the values fed to that algorithm, those fall under the category of parameters. So let us move ahead. What other is the training data set and validation data set? These terms make very often appearance when we are talking about uh, supervised machine learning, which we'll be seeing in a further slides. So whenever we have a data set, my model or my algorithm or my ML learning process doesn't work on entire data set. Generally, this data set is split into uh, two parts. First part is called as training set upon which my ML order would be actually be learning how features and labels are in interlinked and how I can predict a value for the label. So once the ML model learns the relationship, we test the accuracy or the credibility of that learning process by actually passing the input from the validation set. The validation set is that part of data set through which your ML model would never go through during the learning process. Only upon when we find that the ML has learned completely, we test to what extent my machine learning model has learned by asking machine learning to predict the values for the validation data set. And when we're talking about that, Sometimes we get too confused. We use train and testing data set and now you might ask me what exactly is a validation data set. So when during the process of learning, even though we have been working on a training set, a uh, some part of training set is further removed out to fine tune the learning process. So when I'm saying fine tune the learning process, I am talking about making some trial and error like uh, experiment runs to make sure my machine learning model is learning fine. So in, in general, your data set is always split into three parts. The train data set, the test data set and validation data set. During machine learning process, the data through which your ML model goes through is usually the train data set and testing data set based on which my ML model learns and then the actual accuracy of model is always determined by running the model on validation data set. See what exactly is a machine learning life cycle. So when we talk about machine learning life cycle, what we are talking about is a given a problem and you wish to solve the problem by using machine learning. These are the steps which you need to follow. So these ensure that the steps recorded in machine learning are properly done in a sequence which would lead to a, a fruitful outcome by machine learning process. Let us see those steps one by one and we'll be describing each step in detail. So the first one for any machine learning is to identify the data. So without data, we cannot, uh, frankly speaking, without data, there is no machine learning. So the very important step in an entire machine learning life cycle is to first make sure on what data you are trying to put your um, machine learning model to a practice through which your machine learning model will be learning the data. So more the good data, more the rich data, better the machine learning model or the better the capability of machine learning model to predict an outcome. Second, make sure once you identify the data, the data is prepared properly. For example, by if you go through the my earlier slide, we were able to see the table where you could see the data was properly structured in column and rows and format. Usually more structured the data, better the my computational algorithms and it, it in indirectly or directly results into better machine learning. It's always important to you prepare the data set properly and during preparation, uh, one of the very key step to remember is feature engineering, which is nothing but uh, it's a process by which you decide what features uh, you will be passing to the machine learning model so that it can predict a label. So selecting the most suitable features out of uh, available uh, n number of features is also a part of this step, which we call as preparing the data set. Next step is to select the learning type. Once you have an idea about the data and the type of features and labels you're predicting, you can take a good guess about what type of machine learning would be uh, better for the problem which you're tackling. 
So here, when we say selecting machine learning time, it usually in uh, it usually indicates whether the the person would be going for supervised machine learning or unsupervised or a reinforcement learning. And once you select a machine learning type, very important is to select and write algorithm. When we are talking about supervised, unsupervised, there are a lot of algorithms which fall under that category. So based on the data and the features you have and the learning type, some algorithms might be very much suitable for the problem. So choosing a right algorithm is one of the very crucial step of machine learning lifecycle. And generally during this stage, most people try to experiment on multiple algorithms. They repeat the experiment and then they decide one algorithm out of the uh, algorithms which have been trained on data set. Going ahead, once you select an algorithm, very important to train your algorithm on training data set. And after training, we do an evaluation. Uh, in short, what we are talking about, we are talking about validation, wherein we train on a part of data and we provide a data with, through which your machine learning model did go and we compare the accuracy. So based on accuracy, you might uh, go to the earlier step, you might change the decision, you might choose another algorithm, you might change the learning type. So this all forms a small sub-cycle in the machine learning life cycle. Going ahead, once you have a proper evaluation, you would be having a trained ML model, you will be deploying it in a production, and upon deploying it in a production, what you do is you start taking a predictions on a real-time data. So this real-time data is the one through which your machine learning life cycle uh, um, might have not gone through earlier. So an actual test of machine learning uh, model which you built is now during the prediction stage. And upon the prediction stage, very important to make sure you do a proper assessment of prediction, take a stock of how your ML algorithm is performing. If the accuracy drops down, if the accuracy remains constant, that could lead to the further decision of repeating the uh, your machine learning life cycle from step one. So this is the machine learning life cycle. So I have a quick question for you. Uh, the question is, when I talk about testing data set, is testing data set an unlabeled data set? So you can pause the video here, you can revisit the earlier slides which I have, I have discussed in video and you can try to guess the answer for this. But the answer for this question is, the testing data is always unlabeled data set. So and the answer is true for it. So this is a bibliography through which I have uh, gone for this uh, video session. And so that's it for this video. Thank you everyone.